guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Shantae's Way here today, and today I'm going to be talking about my all natural hygiene. Um, I put up just a random post on my Twitter, and I know a lot of you don't follow me on my Twitter, but there are some people who follow me on my Twitter, and I was like, I wonder if people will watch a video if I was to talk about more natural alternatives to the women hygiene and just talk more about that topic that's not really talked about. And some people said that they wanted to see that, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for you guys today. I wanna start off by saying that I've been using natural products um, all the way down from, all the way from my personal hygiene, all the way down to the things that I clean with in my house. So I've been doing that since the end of 2015 and it has definitely made a very very big difference in my whole entire life to be honest because i didn't realize that i was using such toxic products at first so i say 98 percent of the things that i use are all natural for my lifestyle in general honestly if you think about it the products that you use on a daily do need to be pretty clean products because you're using those daily even products that you use monthly especially when it comes to down there a lot of people tend to forget that there's a lot of tissue there's a lot of things down there that absorb your skin is the most absorbent so that doesn't stop when it goes down there so that being said i'm gonna go ahead and jump into the products that i'm using and the products that i've been using for a while and i'm also gonna tell you guys some products that i used to use but i don't use anymore and the reason why so I'm gonna start with body wash just because that's the most easiest thing to switch um, I started using natural body wash and it definitely made a difference in my skin so the first brand that I'm gonna talk about is the Alafia brand I really like this brand because it is an all-natural brand and it doesn't have any type of chemicals in it and it is very um, soft and gentle on the skin so I like to use Alafia versus other brands I've used other natural brands and they say they're natural and all this but then when I use them they don't react well with my skin they smell wonderful but they're not all natural so Lafia I found with their body wash I never have any type of flare-ups I never have any type of problem with their body washes also use Dr. Bronner's which I'll put right here Dr. Bronner's is holy grail like i love that so much it works for your body and also for any type of house needs that you need so it's an 18 in one soap and it really does work for pretty much everything that you can think of when it comes to body wash a lot of people may say like what's the big deal you're just washing up with it but like i say your body is very your skin is very absorbent so whenever you put a toxic product on top of your skin your body is going to absorb that and now it's in your bloodstream once you put something in your body you can guarantee that it's going to have an effect on it especially if you do it constantly if you're totally against perfumes and you do not like any type of fragrance and you want to keep it very very simple you can use this and this is the whole foods brand fragrance free body wash it is a super simple body wash they literally have just the basics in here in order Order to make a shower gel or body wash I would not say that it's the best this is definitely for someone who just is allergic to everything <laughs> so it's not the best it doesn't contain any oils it doesn't really moisturize your body as well as it should so when it comes to deodorant I did not used to use all natural deodorant until I ran into um, I think it was an article or a video that I seen where deodorant is actually super important to keep natural so that's like the one of the last things that i changed the deodorant that i recommend i have been through so many natural deodorants when deodorants when it comes to natural deodorants you have to choose a good one otherwise you're not going to like it and you're going to go back to just a regular deodorant because you're going to feel like that it doesn't work when in reality it's just that you just have to find one that is good so i found this deodorant which is called native i think that's how I'm you're supposed to pronounce it i really do like this brand because it stays on for a long time and it really does work really really well i got the um citrus and herbal musk fragrance and I do like this but it does smell like a guy's deodorant but they do have a different fragrances if you want to choose from a different type of fragrance they do make this very simple you can read the ingredients on the back and it's very simple I like it because like I said it lasts for all day and I don't have to worry about it coming off as easy 
versus some of the other natural brands which only last for a couple hours. I used to use Smith's. I think it's called Smith. I'll put it right here. I used to use this brand and the reason why I switched from that brand is because it was making my underarms dark. I put up a video of me trying to get my underarms from being dark. I had never suffered from it before until using that deodorant and a lot of people commented below and said that that was the reason why my underarms were dark. So I stopped using that. So another option of deodorant is called the crystal and you can use the actual crystal which they make this out of mineral salt and it's actually made from crystals and I like this brand but like I said this is one of the brands that doesn't last for me for a long time. Naraya really likes it so this is mostly just her deodorant um, but she's actually starting to use my deodorant a lot more which is the native because I think that she likes that one better. So but now I'm going to go on to what I use for my body as far as lotions. I don't really use lotions. I more so use body butters and oils even in the summertime because I feel like they more moisturize your skin a lot better. When it comes to oils, I would use like it right out of the shower because I know that oil doesn't really moisturize your skin, but it does seal in your moisture. So when you are coming right out of the shower, it's okay to use oils to seal in your moisture from the shower. So the first one that I like is the Body Plus Hair Honey from Beja Flora Naturals. I think that Beja Flora Naturals has a really good skincare line um, when it comes to body butters and body oils. So you can use this on your hair and your body. And as you see, it is empty. I do not have any more of this left. I need to get some more, but I have literally scraped this thing to death. Like I love it so much and it does last for a long time because you don't need a lot of it. Next thing I like to use on my body is coconut oil. I don't use this a lot, but I do use it sometimes. It is a good um, thing to use right out of the shower and also for when you finish shaving, you can use it to avoid like shave bumps and stuff like that. So I really like coconut oil. I always keep it on hand. I also always get asked what I use on my nails because my nails are always very long and you guys notice them in the videos. And nor my bit my band-aid. I cut myself. What I do for my nails, I like to keep them very simple. So if you guys will notice that a lot of times in my routines, I keep stuff simple. In my hair care, simple. In my lifestyle, I try to be simple. So I like to use oils on my nails in order for them to grow. So I use coconut oil on my nails and that helps. I also use my growth oil on my nails. And this helps so much and a lot of people have found that my growth oil has helped with their eyebrows and like different parts of the body. So this is an all natural oil so you can use it for different parts of your body. So I like to use it on my nose. Um, I noticed that when I was doing my hair my nose were growing so much and I could not figure out why. And then I started to realize that it was the oil, the leftover oil on my nose that was allowing my nails to grow. I also do not get my nails done like as far as putting fake nails on. I know that fake nails are really cute and it's really nice to have them on but they do damage your nail beds and they do make your nails very weak. So that's what I noticed. I used to get my nails done every two weeks and I noticed um, that my nails were very weak and when I would take the nails off even though my nails would be long they would be pretty much dead when I took off the nails so that's why I stopped back in 2016 I stopped getting my nails so done. Now we're gonna move on to menstrual pads and all the talk about the woman's cycle. So if you are grossed out about this type of stuff, which you shouldn't be, especially if you're a woman, you need to know about this, even at a young age. But if you are, then you might want to exit after this part. When I first found out about all the stuff that was on pads, I was like, why? Like, why would they do that? But apparently what they do is they use old old like cotton and waste and they put that all together and they put chlorine on it to clean it or something and they bring it all together with chemicals and stuff and that's how your pads are made and they don't have to legally tell you how your pads are made if you ever notice you look on the back of a pad it doesn't have like ingredients that are in it it doesn't have any information because they feel that it's a need for you so they don't want you to be like oh i'm not gonna get it because it has this in it i 
think from what I researched, that's what the reason reason for them doing that is. But literally, they can put whatever they want into those pads. So what I found out is there's a lot of different chemicals on the pad. For several hours, you have on your pad, or you're sticking the tampon up in you. And a lot of people had so many issues with the tampons being up in there because, like I said, that area absorbs a lot, and the pads and stuff like that. So a lot of times, people were starting to change to all natural pads so back when i made this video on my channel back in 2016 there wasn't a lot of natural options available readily available um there were some available at whole foods but other times you had to go online to get organic and natural pads and um, natural things for your menstrual cycle but now they're starting to have them readily available i even seen the other day when i was in target that always brand has a pure line now i don't particularly trust always i have not tried the always pure but they do have a pure line and i may give it a try but i'm just not sure but what i found that was readily available i'm gonna start with that first is this brand right here and this is by l now this could be a bigger company hiding behind a smaller name they do that a lot you have to be careful um, they do that a lot with food and they do that a lot just in general, but you have to be careful. And, but at the same time, these big companies, we have funded them for so long, so they're so huge and they're able to do this type of stuff. So at the same time, you have to live your life and you have to get products either way it goes. But I just wanted to throw that out there, like be careful. So this one is called L and this is made from Pretty much cotton that is not has a lot of stuff on it so no synthetic pesticides no dyes or fragrances and it is very affordable because I got this huge bag right here for only seven dollars I believe and I've never gotten a huge bag of pads that much for seven dollars so this is a 42 42 pads in here and also I have these which are panty liners and I wear these sometimes as well. And like I said, this is an all natural brand as well. They also have tampons, which are normally in this case. So the next brand that I love to use is from Nature Care. I believe I'm saying it right, I'll put it right here. This is an all organic um, pads. They have organic pads and tampons. Hopefully that now that they see that people are more into natural products and people are starting to not want to buy crap, hopefully they'll start to have it more available and have things readily available for those of us who are not into using like a lot of chemicals and stuff on our body right. parts. So the next thing I want to show you guys, and this may be nasty to some people, but I will say to hear me out. These are reusable pads. I started to first use re reusable pads when I was first on my little journey. So this is what they look like. And they're literally just, like they say, reusable pads. And these are the inserts that you use for them. And then like this like so also have one that is for if you have like a thong and it already has an insert inside of this one so i got these from glad rag they literally are a company that only uses reusable pads the cotton that they use is organically grown so it is organic cotton on these um so let's go ahead and talk about why i'm not using these to this date they did like catch a lot of moisture and moisture and down there does not go together that's why i stopped using them it may work for some other people i've seen where other people do use these and they get really good results but i just didn't really like them as much so the next option is to use a diva cup and i have never used a diva cup it's pretty much a menstrual flow catcher so you put the diva cup inside of you and it catches your flow and a lot of people say it works good for them but i'm so afraid that it will like spill or like get everywhere so that's why i've never tried it but i always say that i'm going to try it i just i'm very scared to try that option but that is an option so now i want to talk about cramps when it comes to your cramps a lot of people take advil or they'll take medication honestly when it comes to cramps for me personally i never take a pill i always deal with my cramps head on they're not as bad as some people so 
I used to have back cramps. I've never had excruciating back cramps, but I did used to have cramps to where they were kind of bad. And when I have cramps, I like to do yoga. I lay down. I take it easy. I try not to, to be doing too much. That's what your body's basically asking you to do. It's just to sit down, take it easy. It's your time of the month. I like to put aloe vera on my stomach. Now, this is something that I just kind of put together. You put aloe vera on your stomach to give it that soothing feel because aloe vera is naturally just a soothing plant i want to end the pms section by saying it's more beneficial for you to use products that are more simple not have a lot of fragrance on them your body will thank you a lot of times we try to like put like summer eve and do all these type of things to like make it feel fresh down there and smell good down there when really you're just messing up the pH down there the pH balance can be thrown off by anything so a lot of times the perfumes and stuff that they have in the stores and the soaps that they have in the stores are not good for down there and your body doesn't really need it like your vagina actually cleans itself it doesn't need your help that much I mean of course you want to wash down there and stuff but to me when it comes to putting soaps and stuff down there i don't do that like i only wipe around and that's it so that's my suggestion a lot of people may think that's gross but i think it's gross to put that stuff down on your on that area because you're asking for bacteria and infections to come when you do that but i just want to pass it on to you guys that it's very important to keep that area nice and simple because if you're putting so much stuff down there that's what causes like utis yeast infection bv all those type of like things where your stuff is just thrown off balance just keep in mind that that area is very absorbent and it absorbs everything and this even goes for like i'm not here to tell you what how to do your life but this even goes for your sexual partner you want to make sure that that partner is consistent and that you're not just you're not just doing the most you absorb so much like you're actually a sponge when it comes to that type of thing and energy cannot be destroyed nor created it can only be transferred from one person to the next so that might go over some people's head but some people might catch it so whenever you get involved with somebody remember that all right so moving on this is apple cider vinegar and i wanted to put this in this video because it's very important after you're done with your menstrual cycle it's very a very good habit for you to probably do like an apple cider vinegar bath because apple cider vinegar does help with ph balance so I like to do apple cider vinegar baths. I don't do them every single time I'm done with my menstrual cycle, but I do do them based on like if I feel like I need it or something. So I love to do apple cider vinegar baths. Another thing I wanted to say is probiotics are very important. Um, I need to take my probiotics a lot more frequently than I do. This one I got from a herbalist. I go to herbalist sometimes and he gave me this and this is like just prescribed from him. Um, this one is one that you actually put up there and it's an actual like supplement that you do that with so you can take it that way or you can take it in internally you can just get a probiotic probiotics are very good at helping with that area as well and also keeping a very healthy gut okay so i wanted to finish this video with telling you guys what i use for my toothpaste so i use this which is the himalaya brand and i've been using this for so long and i've tried so many different um toothpaste and they just don't work for me as well so this is one that i found that worked for me very so well that was all i had for my natural hygiene routine not really routine but the things that i'm using i hope that this helps someone out there and hopefully you guys are going to start using more clean products and if you're not then maybe you can just research it and find out a little more and maybe next year you'll be using all natural um products so i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know down in the comment section if you already use some of this stuff and some tips for some of the people who are coming to this video who may be new to natural care and thank you guys so much please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next one bye